What's up you guys? Welcome back. Today I'm doing a massive Sephora haul. I placed an order online because I saw Rare Beauty came out. As I was browsing, I realized, oh, I need to replace a few things and I found a bunch of other stuff that came out. Pretty much all year, I haven't really been into a lot of launches that have come out or just a lot of different makeup products, probably even longer than the last year. I just feel like finally I'm excited about some of this new stuff. I end up getting into like a makeup rut or not even a rut, just I find myself not playing around with like a bunch of different stuff anymore and I'm just using the stuff that I like and I enjoy using those things. But yeah, I'm excited to switch it up and try some new things. I placed literally the biggest order on Sephora that I have ever placed. I hope you guys enjoy this. Please subscribe and let's get started. If you want a tutorial on this look, I just filmed one. I will link it up here if I have it up already. Let me know too, any of the stuff that I show in this haul, if there's anything in particular that just like revs your engine, let me know. This gets me going, I'm excited. So let's see here. I wanna start with Rare Beauty because I'm excited about it. So Rare Beauty is the new makeup line that Selena Gomez came out with. First and foremost, I am a Selena Gomez fan. I love her music, I just love her. But when I saw that she was coming out with a makeup line and I saw like the packaging and everything, I was kind of thrown off. It wasn't what I would have expected from her. I'm not a huge fan of the branding and everything, but then when I saw it come on Sephora's website and I was able to like browse the products, I was so excited about the product selection and what they actually are. I can't wait to see how they perform. I think I got like one of everything. This is the Liquid Touch Weightless Foundation. This is 210N. It might be a little dark, but I'll make it work. Like, so to be honest, like the packaging to me is very like Teletubby. I'm excited to see how all of this stuff wears and works and stuff. I feel like I really trust celebrities makeup lines or collaborations because they work very closely with makeup artists all the time and they're always in the makeup chair so they know a lot about makeup. I'm gonna wear it tomorrow and do like a, a testing new makeup video. So I'm like, I wanna just like wash my makeup off and try it right away. Oh, I also got the primer. So this is always an Optimist Illuminating Primer. I got the little size because what if I don't like it? You know what I mean? So this is the primer. And then I got the concealer sealer. Yes, I ended up getting it in 200C. As I'm seeing this in person, it's kind of growing on me. Like I like the size of this concealer. That is a big doe foot applicator. And I believe the foundation too is a doe foot. Very random, but I got the blotting sheets. I get oily throughout the day and I honestly don't have any blotting sheets. And I thought, hey, this was kind of random. There's just little sheets in there. So I thought that could be something that I just keep in my car. Oh, I got another concealer. I got 180W. This is the 200C and this is the 180W. I really, really, really loved the way that everything was set up as far as the brand goes and like the colors go. Anytime I'm looking for a foundation or anything like complexion related, I look for the numbers and the letters. So like anything with a cool undertone could be like more pinky. Anything that is more warm is gonna have more of that warmth to it. Then I got the illuminator. This is the Positive Light Liquid Illuminizer. I got the one, it said like it was Selena's favorite. So I was like, well, I need Selena's favorite. This is in the color Mesmerize. In person, now I'm seeing it, it is, it is very rose gold. Like very, very rose gold. I don't know if I'm gonna like this. I think I would have preferred the gold because this is like, this is very pink, but we'll see. I'm gonna try it on tomorrow and do like a full video on it. Then I picked up the Soft Pinch Matte Liquid Blush in Bliss. I believe this was kind of like a peachier kind of color. I loved that she had so much liquid. I feel like liquids and creams are just really what I'm into right now. Yeah, this is in the color Bliss. It's kind of like a peachier shade. And this also comes in that sort of a doe foot applicator, which I don't know how I feel. I like the creams when they're more in like a pan form, but I'm excited to see how this works. So then I picked up three of the matte lip creams. This one looked gorgeous, heroic, just like a beautiful hot pink. This is the applicator here. And then I do like the feeling of this. This feels like NARS packaging, that like soft matte sort of a feeling. And then I got Inspire. This said that this was Selena's favorite. And I think this is the color that she's wearing in all of the like promo shots. It's like a orangey red sort of a color. And then I got this one just for fall because it was just a beautiful orangey terracotta shade. This is in the color Brave and I 
think that's gonna be a very beautiful, just like a warm, nudie orange. So you guys know, if you've watched my videos, I love anything that's like a tinted lip balm. So I got three of her lip balms. I got Honor, which also, I loved the name of her products. I feel like they're very just uplifting and just positive, so I really liked that. The packaging of this is really cool. It's flat on one side and then rounded everywhere else, so that's pretty cool and unique. So I just got the clear one here, and then I got Praise, kind of like a nudish pink color. Thankful. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh. I don't have like a lip balm that's like this. So any like any of my tinted lip balms are always like sheer pinks. So these are very unique to the ones that I already have just from other brands. I picked up two brow pencils. I love playing with different brow products. I'm also getting my eyebrows microbladed in like a couple days. I'm terrified, but also very excited. But I can't wait to try these out. So I got the warm brown and I got the cool brown. Oh, cool. I didn't even realize that. There is a like little spoolie on the end of this side and it's very tiny. I think I'll really like that. I was not expecting that. It did say and gel, but I, I just totally missed that part. And then there's like the angle part here on this side, which I'm more of a fan of the brow pencils that are very, very fine and like like just like a not an angle you know what I mean and then this is the warm brown which I, I think that the cool brown is actually gonna match me better so I'm excited to play with those yeah now that I'm seeing it as like a bunch of products like I think it's it is really pretty it's growing on me and then I also got her liner which I'm not a huge fan of eyeliners like this. I prefer like a gel liner rather than like a pen or, you know, like the eyeliner marker things. But I wanted to try it out. I feel like she is like the queen of winged liner. She always looks so good with it. And this is very unique packaging. It's like a pointed here and then angled over here. And it's like a fat pen. <laughs> so I'm excited to play with this tomorrow and see how it looks. And then I think, unless there's something else hiding in this box from Rare, beauty i think this is the last thing i got from rare this is the always an optimist four in one mist i am probably gonna try this right now i always test it over here okay oh the smell oh i like that smell it smells like skincare at first it does come out like splotchy so i would definitely check it on your hand first before putting it on your face but that smells so good it seriously smells like a facial i think that's everything i got from rare beauty i cannot wait to film the video tomorrow and see these in action i'm very excited about the brand i'm excited about like what the products are themselves and i can't wait to try them out so yeah stay tuned for that i love the anastasia and norvina lashes and they were on sale they were on like super sales. So they were like $6 each, which is like the price of drugstore lashes. So I got a bunch of them. <laughs> so I got a bunch of the fashion lashes, which are my favorites. I wear these all the time. I'll link my go-to makeup look right up here in the video here. So you can check it out. I wear these in them and they're just good go-to bold lashes without being too over the top. They're not like very long like these, but they're kind of like a similar spiky sort of feel, but like a natural version of these. And then I thought I'd try out a different pair because they were on sale. So I got Dreamy and these are just a little bit spikier, piecier, chunkier, a little bit more dramatic. They kind of remind me of Iconic from House of Lashes. So yeah, I got those. I got multiples of each. So those were the only two that I got, but yeah, I had, I felt like I had to take advantage of that because they were on super sale. Speaking of that, that missed so I saw this Patrick Star he came out with his own brand so excited for him and the brand is called one size so this is the one size go off makeup dissolving mist I have never seen anything like this before I'm so intrigued and I cannot wait to try this an epic continuous mist that dissolves makeup on contact infused with calming jojoba and brightening rosehip oils makeup is removed without leaving skin feeling tight or dry I'm so interested in this I I cannot wait to try this. I'm guessing you just spray it on your face and it helps to like melt off the makeup. Very unique. I hope this works because that would be so cool to try. I'm interrupting the haul really quick because I'm so eager to try this one size go off makeup dissolving mist that I showed. So we're gonna try it right now and see how this works. I'm just gonna put my hair up out of my face. Spray eight to 10 inches away from your face until it's evenly coated. Massage into skin and gently wipe off. Oh, this is the weirdest feeling. Oh, this feels 
so weird. Do you see it like already melting it off? I've never tried anything like this. That was bizarre. Okay, I'm gonna rub it in. Wow, it smells really good too. I'm curious, cause I really kind of like didn't put it on my eyes. Oh wow, look at that. It's just coming right off. Look at that, I just got water on a washcloth. I am shocked. That was the weirdest thing. I love it though. That is so cool. Up in here, I'm having a little bit of a hard time, but it's only because I didn't spray too much like on the eye area itself. And I have like really, really black eyeliner on. So wow though, I'm like, that was so cool. All right, I'm gonna work on getting the rest off, but wow. So far, pretty good. So speaking of makeup removing stuff, I replenished my Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. I've been using this pretty much all summer, but I have the little tub of this. I've been kind of like playing around and trying different cleansing oils just because I'm trying not to use makeup wipes. It's the best cleansing balm I've ever tried. And what I'll do is I'll use this with face halos. Those are amazing. So if I really wanna take time with my skincare routine and just take time to do a double cleanse and like serum and moisturizers and all that kind of stuff this is what i'll use you guys know i also love the philosophy purity one step facial cleanser that just sits in my shower so if i'm too lazy to do like a full-blown routine i'll just use that in the shower and mix it with water and wash it off but if i want to take time and like do all of these extra steps and really pamper my skin i'll use this with a face halo and then cleanse it so had to pick up this this is my first like ginormous jar or like full-size jar i usually have the little one the little one is honestly like this size so, really tiny. I got this, you guys. So I'm glad that they packaged this in its own little box because these eyeshadows are like very, very sensitive. And I think they probably have gotten a lot of complaints over the years for anyone that buys Natasha Denona eyeshadows because anytime I've bought a Natasha Denona eyeshadow or palette, they come cracked. But I got the Glam palette. I cannot tell you how many of you guys tagged me on Instagram in the um, announcement of this palette on her Instagram. It was just so funny. Everyone's like, you need this, you need this. So this is what it looks like. You guys know me so well. I love cool tones. This is just beautiful. I did feel like there were so many shimmery shades in here, but it's beautiful. It's just stunning. So I cannot wait to do an eyeshadow look with this. This is just gorgeous, right up my alley. The mirror in here is phenomenal. I love the packaging of it. It's just, it feels good. I cannot wait to play with this. You guys know I love cool tones. I realized Patrick Ta has launched a plethora of things that I just needed to try. So I picked up a bunch. So he came out with a cream and highlighter duo blush. So you've got your cream on top and then I guess it's a powder on the bottom, a powder blush. So you got a cream and powder blush duo. Interesting, so this is this one. Let me open them all up so I can tell you the colors. Do we know her? Oh, she's different. It's like a plum. And then she's so LA, which is like a darker brownie bronzy. Beautiful, you guys know I love the creams right now and this whole packaging is exactly what I'm looking for. And I love that it's like a, a cream and a powder duo because I bet if you did the cream and then you wanted it more intense, you could probably set it with the powder on the cheek and it would be more intense, so. And then I saw that he came out with all of these different lip products. I think the last thing I got from Patrick Ta was the first initial launch that he came out with. And I think it was last year that he did that. I got five of the matte suede lipsticks. I think I got every color. And then I got the corresponding lip liner. So let me open these up, show you what I have here. The packaging is just glorious. I think that's so beautiful. I love square packaging. This looks just like Tom Ford packaging. This is, she's not from here. Ooh, that's cute. That's like opposite where this would normally be the top. That's cute. Oh, how interesting. It has like a texture to it. This is, she's not from here. It's like a bright orangey red. This is That's Why She's Late, which is like a true, true deep red that looks like velvet almost. This is She's Hard To Get, which is like a bright fuchsia. I really love the texture of these. It looks like it's just gonna go on straight matte and just be that like smooth looking matte finish. Ooh, I can't wait to try these on. This is Oh She's Single, which is a light beigey nude. Mm. 
that would look really good with my look right now. And then last but certainly not least, I thought this would be so beautiful for fall. This is She Must Be New. Oh, it looks almost like a, like a deep chocolate brown, but it has purple in it. It's like so vampy. This is giving me the feels. I cannot wait to use this in a video. So then I got corresponding lip pencils. This is She Must Be New, so that deep dark one I got in a lip pencil. These are kind of unique too because they have that angle to it, which I've actually never tried. Oh, do I? Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna like this. It's innovative and it's cool, but I don't know how I feel about it. It's an angled lip pencil. You do that to get to it. I don't know how I feel about that. What if I put this on? Is it gonna, Ugh, please don't. Okay, we're in the clear. Be careful, don't push this up too high and then put the cap on, cause it will crush it, but thankfully I didn't put it up too high. Cool packaging, I just don't know if I'm gonna end up liking that. And then I got She's Hard To Get, which is hot, hot, hot pink one. This is called She's Strong, a good nude. And then I got She's Humble, which is a lighter beigey nude, kind of like what I have on now. So I'm eager to play with these. I feel like that's a really cool concept and a cool idea for lip pencils. I just don't know if I'm gonna end up liking that. And I could change my mind. It could end up being like the best thing ever, but just off the top of my head, I feel like I'm just not gonna like that. So we'll see how that goes. Oh, this is random. I got the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. I didn't know that she even came out with this. So I got um, the mini size of this as well. We'll get to see which one we like better. You guys know the Morphe one is honestly just my favorite. Let's see how this one goes on my hand. Oh, but that smells really good too. I do like the rare beauty smell better than this, but it smells good. And then from Charlotte Tilbury, I had a lot of you guys tell me that I needed this. This is the Airbrush Bronzer. I have the Filmstar Bronze and Glow palette from Charlotte Tilbury, and I'm obsessed with the bronzer in there, but it only comes in that duo. It's like a bronzer highlighter duo. I'm hoping this isn't too dark because I did get shade number three and there's four shades, but I like a very red toned dark bronzer that I can just go in with a light hand because if something is too light, I just feel like it looks weird on me and it probably looks fine and probably looks way more natural than the makeup that I end up doing, but I just prefer a darker red toned bronzer. So the packaging on this is just incredible. That is so beautiful. I know it's definitely not geared for my skin tone. I should have gotten like a lighter one, but I think I'm gonna end up liking this. And if it ends up being too dark, then I'll just get um, the lighter shade. This is so random, but I've been wanting this for like a year. This is the Melt Ultra Matte Gel Liner in Burnish. And I actually didn't want this one. I wanted the other one, but they were out of stock. Even though it's not the exact color that I wanted, I just wanna do a brown liner. That texture is not what I thought it was gonna be. That is like a mousse. I was expecting it to be like the Inglot gel liner or like any gel liner where it's like flat. That looks like it would probably transfer on me just, just at first glance. It might not work, but it might work. So I had to replenish a bunch of hair stuff because I was out of a bunch of hair stuff. So I got my Amika Soul Food Nourishing Hair Mask. I use this all the time and my hair just loves it. If you're curious about like the products that I use on my hair to keep it healthy and what I ask for at the salon, I'll link my salon video and hair care video up here so you can check it out. Um, but yeah, I just ran out of this, had to replace it. And then I was like, hey, I wonder if Sephora carries Pureology now because they haven't for forever, I don't think. And sure as shit, they do. I was so excited. So <laughs> I got this ginormous bottle of the Pureology Strength Cure conditioner because I go through this like crazy, both of these. I wish that this came in a bigger one. Actually, I think it does. I got it on Amazon though, but got my conditioners. Now I won't run out for a long time, but I was really excited. They were out of my 21 benefits spray, but um, I am out of that as well and I need to replenish it. So very soon I will also place another order and get that. Very random, but I had like a, some points. So I got some silk scrunchies with my points. And then lastly, but certainly not least, I got the Olaplex Intense Intensive Bond Building Hair Treatment number zero. So my hairstylist uses Olaplex in my hair when she's bleaching it, and then she does the step two after um, at the bowl, and then I use step three at home. I have the shampoo and the conditioner, which I'm not even like a huge fan of those. I have the number six, the like smoother that I put in my hair after I go in the shower. And then I saw this, I was like, this is interesting. And basically, this is supposed to be like an intense version of number three, I believe. So it says, 
Directions, apply number zero, this, to dry hair, saturate from root to tip. Leave on your hair for 10 minutes and don't rinse it. Apply a generous amount of number three hair protector to the saturated hair and wait 10 minutes. Then rinse, shampoo, and condition as usual. I'm intrigued. I'm very intrigued. This is new, very interesting. So it comes with the number zero, and then this is like a little sample size of number three, which I also have the number three. I'm just interested. I love the Olaplex line. Their shampoo and conditioner isn't really my favorite. I kind of talk about it in my hair video. I feel like the, the shampoo kind of like, it'll brighten my hair back up a little bit, but it kind of, I feel like takes out my toner, which is very annoying. And then the conditioner doesn't really feel like a conditioner. So not a huge fan of that. I still have some leftover in my shower that I'll mix in with my routine here and there, but I do love the number three treatment. I know the number three treatment is more of like a keep your hair healthy over time sort of thing. So if you ever try the number three, it's not like a hair mask that you put in and you expect results from kind of like this. It's more of like a treatment that you put on your hair and then you still shampoo and condition after you use that and it just helps to keep your hair strong and healthy. So Woo! I'm tired. <laughs> my, my throat hurts from talking and I just filmed this tutorial right before this too. So I'm just, I'm tired and I'm hot because anytime I film, I have to turn my air off because otherwise it'll be blowing in here and it's too loud. But let me know what you guys are excited to see me use in action first. I think tomorrow I'm going to film a full rare beauty in-depth review tutorial try on whatever first impressions I guess and then the next day I'm going to film uh, just a testing out new makeup video where I can try some of the other stuff here too. So I'm so excited. I'm just really excited about makeup right now. I feel like for the longest time I just wasn't really that excited and stuff was just kind of blah. Everything was kind of like the same and I'm just excited about all this all of these new products all of these new brands. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I picked up from Sephora. If there's anything else that you think I need to check out, whether it's from Sephora or just anywhere, let me know that down below. I would love to check it out. That's everything you guys. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me today. Please subscribe and I will see you guys very soon. Bye.